Hello friends. In this lecture, we will continue with meshing in ANSYS Workbench, and we are going to learn about different types of element in meshing. So first of all, let us understand what are different types of element in meshing. So as we already know, in this course we have used three types of element. That is called 1D element, 2D element, and 3D element. So now let's understand about them one by one and how to choose the different types of element in the analysis. So here we can see we have 2D, 3D and also we have 1D element. So in case of 1D element, we have element like bar, we have beam and whenever we create any rod or any bolt connection like this. So basically in case of 1D element we have element like this so it is like a straight line. So in case of 1D element we have two nodes like this. So 1D element is made of two nodes. Now let's go to the 2D element. In 2D element generally we have two types of shape. One is triangular shape and the second is quadrilateral shape. So we can also use different types of shape like hexa element, penta element etc. Throughout the experiment it has been found that prior element and quad element provides a much accurate result by reducing the time. So now it has been a standard for the 2D element to use prior and quadrilateral element. Now in case of 3D, we have tetrahedron element. So here we can see in case of triad, we have three nodes. So this is called three noded triangular element. In case of quadrilateral, we have four nodes at the center. Now in case of 3D element, so first type of element is called the tetra element or it is called tetrahedron. So the tetrahedron element is made of four nodes. First node, second node, third node and fourth node. Second is called the prism or hex element. So hex is like a brick element. So in case of brick element, it is made of eight nodes. So we can see all these eight nodes are here. Four nodes here and four nodes in the backward direction. And this is called the polyhedron. In case of polyhedron, we have any number of nodes between 4 to infinite. So generally these types of element are used when we perform any CFD or computational fluid dynamics problems. In case of static structure problem, we are not going to use this type of element. Now we have pyramid element. In case of pyramid element, we have 5 nodes. So you can see we have all these nodes here. And in case of prism, we have six nodes. So you can see the prism type of element is made of triangular. So basically we have used a triangular element and we have provided a height to this. Similarly for a hex element we have used a quad element and we have provided a height to this. So these are all the different types of element. Now Let's understand how to decide the element type. So in which condition, what type of element we have to use. Now the selection of element is based on three types. First is type of analysis. For different types of analysis, a certain type of element is recommended. Then geometric shape and size and project time. Now let's understand about this type of analysis. As we know we have multiple type of analysis and basically it is called stat static or dynamic. So we can break this type of analysis by loading condition or material type of analysis. So this is linear or nonlinear and it is static or dynamic. And then with respect to the geometry shape and size. We can consider like 1D, 2D and 3D geometry 
and then mappable or non mappable so mappable means the geometry which is not a complex and non mappable is like a very complex geometry and then project length times sometimes we have to submit the project in very little time so here we need to use the type of element which take lesser time to solve so in any object we have three dimensions whenever one dimension of the element is very large as compared to other two dimension we are going to use the 1d element similarly when two dimensions are very large as compared to third dimension we use 2d element and when all the three dimensions are comparable we use 3d element and when we have a mappable geometry we are going to use the hex element hex element or we use prism element and whenever we have a very complex geometry so we cannot create a good quality of mesh by using the hex mesh so in that situation we need to use the tetra element and whenever we have a very lesser time to solve the problems we are going to use 1d and 2d elements more than 3d element because when we use the 3d element it is going to increase the solution time similarly the element type also depend on the type of analysis like when we perform the static analysis we can use a simple mesh with a higher element size but when we are going to perform the non linear analysis we need a good quality of mesh so in that situation we need to use the quad element in case of so in case of 2d it is recommended to use the quad element and similarly for 3d it is recommended to use the hex element so later on in the course we will also go into the depth of different types of element